Um, thanks so much for everybody that is tuning here with me live. We've got people tuning in from all over. Super glad to have you guys here. We've already worked out the tech, so we know that the audio and we know that the video is working fine. Um, would love to just let you know for anybody that is new to Zoom, I want to let you know that right here along the bottom of your screen, it's a little bit different if you are tuning in on mobile, and there is an opportunity for you to have a chat box. So it makes me feel good and it makes me feel that I am not alone. If you guys find the chat box, and I will ask you questions because I want this to be an engaging webinar, and I am going to to answer any questions that you guys have at the end. So just for the purposes of me multitasking, and I'll be the first one to say I'm not the best multitasker. If you have a question like five minutes in, I would love for you just to like jot that question down, maybe on a little piece of paper. And then at the end, so I don't have to like scroll back through an hour's worth of comments, um, I'll easily be able to answer all your questions. So if you guys have never been with me on any type of training before, I'm gonna introduce myself here in just one second. But if you don't mind, <clears throat> I'm gonna actually just kick us off with a super quick prayer. So let's pray. God, thank you so much for this day. Um, I do not know what is happening right now in this exact moment of the lives of each person that attended, but the great news is you do. And I just wanna say that I'm thankful that um, it worked out that everyone that is here is able to be here. And I thank you, God, that you will just work out a purpose for this and that everybody will leave um, more equipped and stronger in their business. And I just pray a blessing and a hedge of protection over each and every person that is watching, that is listening, and that is um, a part of this. And then we just pray all of this in your name. Amen. All right, guys. So I've already let you know where the chat box is. So I would love it. If you guys could type in the chat box, let me know where everybody is tuning in from in the world. So I would love that. Um, most of you guys already have yourselves muted. Um, I greatly appreciate that. And later on, I will ask you to please feel free to unmute yourself if you would like to ask a question on video, but also would love to let everybody know that you are going to have the ability to just type in your question if you don't feel like asking it verbally and I'll answer those questions. Um, another quick thing, if you are new to using Zoom, the chat feature defaults to everyone, meaning if you type anything into the chat box, everybody else can see it, which is totally fine. But you may choose to change yours. So right above where you're typing, it says everyone and it has a little down arrow. So if you were to change it, you would just change it to, I don't know if it says host or I don't know if it says Heather, but you would just change that. And then that means no one would see your answers except for me. So that's just kind of like for your concern and awesome. So we are good to go. I want to just, first of all, say, I don't even know how to say this, but is it Mat Matawan? Michigan, um, Raleigh, North Carolina, Riverside, California, Sanford, Florida. Um, and of course, you know, I am here in Columbia, South Carolina, and we're going to go ahead and just dive in. So I've got slides that I've prepared for you guys and let's get straight to it. So this is a webinar that I have put together for the idea of me knowing that there are business owners out there that want 2020 to be your year in business to thrive. And I use the word business, but please know this is relative. If you have a nonprofit, if you are a leader in an organization that wants to see social media be a part of your 2020 and forward growth plans, this is for you. And I am just thrilled that you guys are here. We're going to be talking about my mastermind event. And um, this is something that is going to be relative for Christian business owners. And the whole idea is that this will be an experience for and with Christian business owners that are ready to thrive, they're ready to grow with social media marketing. And the event is happening in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, for anyone that's listening right now, if you go to conferences, if you go to businesses, if you go to events related to your field, can you just type a yes or a no? I realized that back in 2014, that was my very first journey, like getting out of my comfort zone and going somewhere else to meet people I had never known before because of something I had learned and heard about on social media. So that was like my first way back in 2014, 
regarding from the perspective of my own brand. Um, of course, I had done professional development and whatnot for um, times prior. Uh, yes, I had the opportunity to meet Joel face to face all the way over in San Diego. So um, most of you guys are all saying yes. So that's fantastic. You guys are used to the idea of getting out of your comfort zone. Um, and I say that meaning for some of you, you love it. And for some of you, you don't love it. But regardless, you had to get up and go somewhere to attend something. So who knows what an, a mastermind actually is? Just go ahead and type a Y or an N um, since the last question I asked you was a yes or no question. So, you know, who actually knows what a mastermind is? And we're just going to talk about that. So regardless of what you guys answer, don't be like intimidated thinking it's going to change the flow. It just helps me have a little bit of a point of reference. Okay. We're getting some feedback. Perfect. Fantastic. Love that. Um, well, another question I have is, is have you ever been in a mastermind? If you have been in a mastermind, I want you to type a five. Type a five if you have been in a mastermind before in the chat box. Um, and, and the reason I ask that is because, again, I look back on my life and prior to this space of jumping into the online world, Nobody I physically knew face to face um, were people that were talking about masterminds. It was really just something I was even exposed to once I really started getting really heavily involved in using social media to grow my very own business. So before we dive into the logistics of what a mastermind actually even is, one of the whole overviews when you think of business growth is that 90% of what we have to really deal with and handle is our mindset. 10% strategy, execution, knowledge. Now that is a huge number. And I know that we have people here in varied businesses um, across the world, in different locations, in different places. But what I do know to be true is that oftentimes um, we like to blame the outside world and say it's uh, influences, it's things around us that's coming in and it's speaking negativity in us, on us and in our lives. But a lot of the times, guys, my experience as a business owner, but also as someone that consults and works with businesses and brands and is a keynote speaker, I can tell you that many of the times it's our own mindset on how we're talking to ourselves and on what we're allowing to get into our mind and what we're allowing to help direct or not direct the path that we're taking. So a quote that I truly love, you may have heard of this before, um, it's been given credit to have been said by um, Jim Rohn, but it is this, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now, for some of us, we may spend tons of time around our family, so I would challenge you to say, okay, what does that look like past the walls of your immediate family? And so for some of us, we are in this bubble where we are running our businesses and we're in our home or we're in our business and we are in a company and we've got people that we're leading. And some of us are in a computer, in an office or in our own home office and we're not having tons and tons of interaction talking with others about the actual business that we're trying to grow. And so I really believe that one of the joys about a mastermind is it allows us, you know, you, it allows me, it allows you, it allows all of us to really be able to give ourselves more opportunities to be in and around other people that are on that same path. And one of the things I have experienced of going to events, being among honestly really smart people that I actually really like and respect is that sometimes it's different. It's different when you're wanting as a Christian to show up with your professional gear on and you're not wanting to compartmentalize the conversation because you're craving to have that business conversation along the mindset of, hey guys, I'm a Christian. This isn't like a little Sunday box, right? I'm not wanting to compartmentalize that. And so this became something that I 
have been looking for on my own for years as I have been on this business journey and as I've been looking for professional development. And what has evolved is, yes, I'm like, that person is really smart. I want to keep learning and I will pick things and I will gather things. And there are people that are farther along the journey in the online marketing space or in business in general, and they're crushing it in areas that I might consider to be weaknesses of mine. And so I'm constantly wanting to up level and grow, but I feel that there is a missing piece to being able to show up and being able to have those Christian spaces where I can show up and talk about my faith and talk about here's my business goal and here's why, and, and really be able to have that kingdom and legacy building piece attached to what we're doing. Because I don't feel that as Christians, that we are in this compartmentalized bubble, that we have to put that over to the side. And so that's kind of one of my um, joys for wanting to be able to have this conversation with you on how I want my mastermind event to be different than maybe many other awesome things that are out there and to let you know that you have options. And so, you know, if we're new to each other, we've got people that are tuning in that I recognize your names and we have been connected for years. And there are some of you that I don't know as well. So I'm gonna just take a minute to say like, who is this girl? You know, my name is Heather Hyman. I am the founder of Sweet Tea Social Marketing. I've been building online businesses since 2011. So I've built two of my own businesses, two six figures and beyond, and I have helped dozens of other businesses with their actual marketing and social media, as in quote, done for you services. And I've helped hundreds and thousands actually businesses with their strategies on how to execute using social media. And I am a keynote speaker. I'm a social media strategist. I've got an academy where I help Christian business owners and I've got my podcast. So that's kind of like in 90 seconds, what I actually show up every day doing, you know, but I want you to know that I believe that we need to give credit where credit is due. And so I have been in online marketing since 2000, back in the day when I was doing just web design and graphic design, working at a digital marketing agency and the whole dot com era. But since then, time has changed, right? How we market changes some of the strategies changes there's algorithms that in 2019 are vastly different than they were in 2008 and then in 2013 so i am keeping abreast of changes in social media marketing that are working and i'm helping my clients and i'm helping people get results but i also want you to know that i am investing money out of my own pocket into growing my business always so I have learned from Rachel Miller, James Wedmore, Stu McLaren, Kim Garsh, Nicole Walters, and I've learned from others, but these specifically are people that have literally pulled out the credit card, done a swipe, and paid hundreds, thousands of dollars to learn and connect and be in their presence. And they're all doing fantastic, and they have very varied business models and great people, but I like to give credit where credit is due. So I like to just let people know straightforward, like this is a little piece of my past. So what a mastermind is. So in my opinion, masterminds can provide instant feedback. It's basically bringing together a group of people that have some things in common. And so for us, that would be, we love Jesus, and we have a business or a nonprofit that we are on a journey to scale and grow. And it also allows for it to be a great pool of resources. Not everybody in a mastermind has the exact same business. I love that. I personally am not a huge fan of, I want to be in this little pod and every single person is an author or every single person is a keynote speaker. I like the diversity that you can have in masterminds regarding the professions of what people are doing. But masterminds are also a safe space to brainstorm, to be able to say, hey, I've got this idea. I don't have the nuts and the bolts and all of the five-day executions lined out. I'm brainstorming. Here's a safe place to get that brainstorming happening. But it's also an awesome place to be able to push and to be pushed. It's a great place to have, seek hope and encouragement from others that get you. Now, I'm going to take a minute 
this can be business wise. That's kind of where we're going here. So spouses, unless your spouse is in your business, spouses and your kiddos, they don't count for what I'm about to ask. And find your little handy dandy chat section because I want you to give me some feedback. But if you were to think for about 15 seconds and say, when it comes to business support, how many of you currently feel that you have got a handful or so of people that really get you, that you can really talk out loud, give feedback, and they're like just as excited to talk business as you are and give that back to you. How many of you guys feel that you currently already have that maybe set up in place among your current connections? Feel free just to say yes or no in the chat box. And while you guys are filling that out, I just want you to know that another thing a mastermind can provide is tough love when you need it. You don't want just people that are willing to tell you yes and be your yes girl or to be your yes guy and to feel and act as if they are always just there because they're going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. And I think that that's why it goes back to, you know, the credibility of what a mastermind can do to help your business. So here's what I want to make sure that you guys really hear me. It's really important for you guys to hear this. So this is for those that are able to attend my actual mastermind event because it requires that face-to-face -face commitment. Um, another thing that I want you guys to know is that this is something that is for 12 people. Even if today 20 people said, here's credit, here's cash, I wanna pay in full, I wanna be at this event. I would literally prayerfully look over everyone's applicants, applications and I would hand eight people and tell them that I am so appreciative that they are interested in making this investment, but at this time, it's for 12 people. And I would get a wait list and get those extra people. And that's how committed I am to keeping this small and keeping this intimate. This is something that I'm going to today give you an application URL that's gonna be available for every single one of you that are interested. And when you complete the application, I want you to know that it is not something that at the bottom has a link for you to enter in your credit card information. It literally does walk you through, here is what this is, and asks you some simple questions, nothing that you need to take longer than about a two to five minute time period to complete, but it literally just asks you some very straightforward questions, allows for you to complete it, and then for you to submit that. And I'm gonna share with you in just a few moments what that link is for everybody that wants that application. And then you need to have a product or a service in place in your business or nonprofit. Okay, let's just talk real talk for just one second. There are people that because you have money and they have something to sell, they would say swipe here and we'll work out the details. Well, I wanna operate with a little bit different of a place of integrity. And so what I want you to know is that I'm going to go over here in just a minute what you would get physically regarding content and what we'd be doing and what that mastermind would look like. But I want you to also realize that this means that it is not something that is going to be a perfect fit for someone who has no idea what their business is. I'm not saying you have to have everything worked out perfectly, but you need to know I am a pet sitter. I have a bakery. I am an author and I am selling books. I am, you know, this. I do living oil, young living. I do essential oils. Heather, I am a CPA in my town. Heather, I have a this type of business and I do this online. You have to know that because coming to the conference or coming to this mastermind event in South Carolina, yes, could be uplifting. Yes, could be motivational. Yes, could be inspire you. But I want you to be able to leave with the things that I am telling you that you will be able to leave with. And if you're starting the conference not knowing what your business model is, well, then that would be a fail on my part because what I would be doing is I would not be setting you up for success. And that's important to me. So that's why I put that out there. 
It's no judgment against anybody. If you are one of those people that says, this sounds so good, but Heather, you just described me. I don't have my specifics in place. Well, then feel free to reach out to me. You may be a better fit for something, a, a different opportunity. But for this mastermind event, you need to have a product or a service in place in your business or in your nonprofit. And you have to actually be able to trust me. Now you could have just met me five minutes ago or you could have been following me for three years, but I want you to know that I am having this mastermind. I am inviting people to come to my home in South Carolina. And I am excited to be with around you. And I want you to know that I want you to be able to trust me. So here would be my commitment to you guys that might be interested is I want my commitment to you to know that I am here to attract Christian men and women that are business owners and leaders that are coachable, that are teachable, and are willing to show up and do the work and make this investment so you could ultimately have the fruit in your business that would be a product of you coming and you attending. Another commitment on your part is that you have to be available during the dates. You could be amazing and you could be awesome, but you can't attend if you're gonna be in Guatemala on a mission trip during the dates. So the dates of when this is happening are January the 26th to the 29th. To give you a little bit more specific of a breakdown, it's gonna start on a Sunday at four and it's gonna end on Wednesday the 29th at 11.30 a.m. So why a mastermind event? So like I said, I have some done for you clients. One of my clients is a distillery here in South Carolina and they are doing remarkably well and we're having great success with growing their brand. I have a local restaurant, hence the chef salad in the middle. And we have taken them from being a brand new brick and mortar business in a very small town to having a thriving social media as being one of their main means of marketing and communicating with their customer base and they are doing fantastic. I am a keynote speaker. I just got home from speaking in India. I love doing workshops. I've taught creative entrepreneurs at crafting conferences, all the way to women entrepreneurs, all the way to groups where it's mixed men and women and people that are business owners out there running their companies. I have had Chick-fil-A as a client, not once, but twice. And I've been on the stage at Social Media Marketing World as an MC twice. And so I've got all kinds of coolness that's happening in my business. But what I feel that God has been bringing to my attention is that people need a little bit more help with the practical. Uh, can I get an amen in the comments? Is there anyone here that says, I know social media is real. I know social media is powerful, but I actually need help with an actual plan that would allow me to make my business look on social media as awesome as I know it actually is. I want you guys to know that that practical piece that I am putting before you today are these two main things. When you walk away from my mastermind event, you will have a 12 month content calendar plan for social media in hand for your business. Joel, uh, Joel says yes, Jessica says amen, Cynthia says amen. Okay, you guys, awesome. You guys are feeling me, you understand what I'm saying. So that content calendar plan is going to be put together and crafted together by you, by my leadership, by my teaching at my mastermind. And I'm also going to be pulling back the curtain and I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to repurpose content and create a content business growth powerhouse that makes you executing your content calendar easy, awesome, and not this overwhelm annoying thing that you are currently just dealing with or tolerating or possibly just not handling. But something else I find that people need is they need face to face. So guys, Growing stronger in relationships with other Christian business owners that can support, can encourage, and motivate you is a great byproduct that you will get from coming to my mastermind. Um, you will also be able to be inspired to be in a setting among believers that are ready to soar using social media. 
So who can I help? So I like to just put this out here. You may fit into one of these boxes, but this is who I know I can help because it's who I have helped for the last eight years regarding me offering my services to someone else. Service-based businesses, product-based business owners, churches, nonprofits, online only, or a hybrid of an online slash local model. So that's kind of a little bit of a nutshell of who I can help. Um, just to give you a little bit of like data, I could not, I'm not here to say like, okay, squint, read the fine print, but I, you know, I want you to know that I have worked with many businesses and I do one-to-one -one work with about three to five clients, no more, because I do not want to be a slave to doing social for 50 people. That's not a part of my business model, even though I love it. Like I am such a geek. I could totally sit down and work on strategy for businesses all day. I absolutely love it. But you know what I love more than that? My husband, my kids, um, the foster child that we are hopefully going to be getting God's timing in the next couple days, the next couple weeks. And so my goal is to be as profitable and to be as helpful and to serve and to give as much as God would possibly see me do in around 25 hours a week. That's my bandwidth. I don't know what yours is. I don't actually even know what your final business goals are, but your goals don't need to be equal to my goals. I'm just kind of wanting to share with you a little bit of my heart on why I want to show up. So these case studies, to give you just a little bit of some visuals, the pet industry e-commerce client I had, they're actually a global brand, but they hired me to help them with their US market. I was able to help them go on from, on their Facebook page, grow it 2,700%, 10 months. Grow their Twitter account, 147%. Grow their Instagram, 117%. Um, I've had the opportunity, like I told you earlier, to work with two Chick-fil-A's. I've got case study up here for one. We had one particular goal. We were helping them attract more of the ideal applicants because it was a brand new restaurant. And we were wanting to A, create the buzz and attention around a new Chick-fil-A opening, but we also wanted to get them the applicants that they wanted and get the traction on their social as a brand new page. So we got their reach up um, 14,530 days, which was a 127% increase. And we got their engagement to 10,099, which was a 176% increase in 30 days. And the reason I share this case study, one, it's Chick-fil-A, so hashtag waffle fries, right? For anyone here who loves Chick-fil-A, can you just say yes in the comments? So I totally don't feel like I'm alone. But the reason I share that with you is I work with Chick-fil-A for a short-term campaign. Um, awesome. Joel said he used to manage one. So I do not need to preach to the choir. I've got someone else here who loves Chick-fil-A just like me. But I really just want you guys to know that it was a short-term campaign. So I wasn't in there going, oh, this is going to take months and months and months for you to see some traction and get some results. I was in there for a very brief period of time and was able to go in there and get done what we needed to get done. So who this is for? So Christian business owners, entrepreneurs, or leaders that need more visibility, engagement, reach, and leads from social media. I just want to be so clear. If you're a realtor and you need more leads, I can help you. If you have a restaurant and you need more visibility and you don't want to be the best kept secret that no one is coming to when you are having a kid's night out, but the reality is people might not know that you're having this kid's night out. If you have an online business, if you have a service-based business, I can help you. There isn't a minimum income level in your business in order to attend this mastermind event. And here's why. I learned a lesson a long time ago that sometimes people are on a different path as they're growing. And it is not my place to judge and, and or evaluate whether you're going to get benefit out of what I can share with you because I know 100%. I can help you get what you need regarding your social media content calendar and knowing exactly how you can repurpose that. And so whether you've been in business for five minutes or you've been in business for 50 years, this is something that can help you and there is not a minimum income level in your business. I want people that are supportive, that are giving, and that are welcoming. 
And I also want you to know that this is for introverts and it is for extroverts. Listen, listen guys, I want you to know, you do not need to have a certain personality type to win and be successful on social media. I am full on an introvert. I would prefer to never leave my house unless I am going with a very specific person to go somewhere. My heart is not filled up by being in a room with 500 people. You may or you may not believe that or you may or may not feel that by you engaging and seeing my brand on social media. I do love people and my happy place is to go deep, having conversations that are beyond surface level small talk. It's very hard for me to talk and do small talk. I find it to be super awkward. That's not my happy place. But I want you to know my number one goal is for this mastermind to be amazing. So I want you to know that you do not have to put on a front. You don't have to be a certain type of person. You don't have to be the person that loves get togethers. You just have to be open to the ability to God allowing this experience to help grow you in your business. So introverts and extroverts, you are welcome here. So who this is not for, if the cost of this would put your family in full on financial strain, as in you cannot pay your mortgage next month, I don't want you to come. I don't want you to come. And I mean that in love, and I mean that in grace, and I mean that in honesty. I don't want you to come if you attending, this would put your family in legit financial strain. I'm not saying that it could not possibly stretch you. I'm not saying that it might mean that you could say, hey, what could I do differently? Meaning going out to eat less or maybe altering this or that in order to make this work. That's not what I'm saying, because I think that's good. That could stretch you, and that could actually say, hey, where are my priorities? But if you're like seriously like, I have no idea how I'm gonna feed my family next month, I want you to take on the priority of making sure that you're being extremely wise with your resources and that you um, execute a great discernment. Someone that has zero idea what their business model is, and we pretty much like already covered that, so I don't wanna beat that into the ground. So this mastermind event is happening in Columbia, South Carolina. I live here, this is my home. If you are local, well, you will not have far to travel, and that is pretty much the one expense that people will have outside of the cost of my event, and that is getting here. So this is a picture that you guys are looking at. This is a picture of my home. I feel super blessed that we moved into our house in March. Um, just a little bit of a house journey. In my marriage, we've been married for about 17 years. We just passed our 17 year wedding anniversary. Um, during the course of that time, we've lived in married housing. We've lived in a 900 square foot home. But pretty much over the course of the last five years of us owning businesses ourselves, we've pretty much gone from, um, in 2014, we had a 1800 square foot house. In 2014, when we moved to South Carolina, we had a 1900 square foot house. And then my husband just really felt like he just wanted to skip all the in-between houses in between. And he wanted this house which is just over 6,000 square feet. So we just kind of skipped all the stuff in between, but I just say, you know, praise to God. That's my husband wanted. I really could care less the size of our house, but yay, we do both have our home office here inside of our house. So the, the training, the day, and I'm gonna go over the logistics of that will be happening here in our home in South Carolina. So here's how this works. This is going to cover three evenings of fellowship and food. This is two full days of teaching, coaching, and masterminding. This is going to include peer-led sessions on the final day. That's by you, that's by everyone that's attending. They're sharing their gold, their wisdom, what they've taken out of the conference, the mastermind. Uh, hot seats, if you don't know what hot seats are, it's a simple phrase that literally just means people are kind of put on the spot and they are pretty much 
spilling out what they really need help with. This is the thing I'm struggling with. This is my area of weakness. And that, during that hot seat time, myself and the other attendees are gonna be pouring into you, giving you insight based on their business, based on their ideas, and you're gonna be able to walk away with insight and perspective from 12 people plus myself or 12 people because you would be one of the people in the hot seat. So you will be getting feedback and insight from 12 others that would be pouring into you during this event. It includes all your meals. This includes all of your lodging. My house does not have accommodations for everyone. So there is a hotel that is within a mile and a half of my house. You don't have to have transportation. We are going to be providing the transportation of getting us to and from meals, getting us to and from your hotel. You will be able to enjoy that space and be able to love it. Um, and I want to make sure you guys know we will be dining together. We will be breaking bread together and enjoying meals together and having those fellowships that are going to create phenomenal connections. So this is not the event that you're going to need to come to. And at five o'clock, you need to just go like escape to your room and go, okay, wow, this is awkward. Like there's nothing to do for four and a half hours. We're going to be together and we're gonna be enjoying awesome meals, but you will also have the ability when the meal time is over to be able to have that time of quiet and reflection and to get to kind of like your personal space um, in your lodging. So this is an in-person experience. I've shared it's in Columbia, South Carolina. For anybody like me that can relate, sometimes I felt like I was going to conferences and they were all far away in far away places. So, this could possibly mean you'd need to get on an airplane, but the cool news is maybe it's going to a part of the country that you aren't currently used to going to, or if you are by chance located in the Southeast, this may possibly be closer to you. All expenses are covered except for your travel. If you are flying in, we will be picking you up from the airport, so you will not have any of those burdens, worries, or extra expenses to worry about once you do arrive in South Carolina. So there are 12 spots. Um, this is, like I said, a four day mastermind event. So the event itself is valued at $10,000. You, as a bonus, when you sign up by this week, you are getting 10 weeks of VIP Voxer access to me directly. So I just wanna take this as a moment to do you a favor. If you are not familiar with Voxer, this is like amazing. So Voxer is a free app that you get on your phone. So I'm just gonna pull up the app real quick. So Voxer is like hit this and here are different people that I'm having conversations with. So you, for example, would let's say have 10 weeks of Voxer access. So you would find me, you would send me a message and it's like walkie talkie style. So you press the button. Hey, I wanted just to say hello. I'm actually right now on my webinar again. And um, if somebody were to wanna have a question for me, you would go like this, you would just talk. Your Voxer message could be 90 seconds long, it could be four minutes long. And when you're done, you press the button. Boom. On the other side, the person you're sending it to, which would be me, instantly has the message. And then when I get it, I would listen to your message and then I would Voxer you back an answer. So Voxer is awesome. If you are new to it, it's a fantastic resource and you would be getting 10 weeks of VIP Voxer access with me directly for that period of time after the mastermind event. Because have you ever attended an event and afterwards you're like, oh my goodness, I'm inspired, but now what? Oh great, now I have a question. Who could I like, oh, I wish I could ask her. Oh yes, you can. That's why we've included this as a bonus for everyone that signs up this week. Um, that's valued at $5,000. We're also gonna have a one hour live strategy session after the event, again, afterwards. So to totally hash out things that maybe you were inspired with once you got back home, that one hour live strategy session is valued at $1,000. Now I say it's an hour. If we're on and you guys still have questions, I am not gonna be doing a hard stop. So that one hour strategy session could very easily become a two hour strategy session. I will stay around and I make sure that everyone gets taken care of. So all of these things for this four day mastermind event value and come up to 
$1,000. But I want you to know the investment for my mastermind event is going to be $4,000. That is the price of my mastermind. This week, everyone that signs up is able to join at $2,000, but you also are getting those two bonuses that I just discussed, the VIP Voxer Access, valued at $5,000, and then the one hour strategy session, which is valued at $1,000. After this week, if you decide you wanna join, the price will no longer be $2,000, and the price immediately at the end of this week is going up $400. Even if you were on this webinar, even if you're watching the replay of this, even if you like said, hey, Heather, I'm so motivated, I'm encouraged, I would like to join, but, well, that's why I want you guys to know that I want to honor and invest people that like commit early. And I want you to know that we have options for payments. So I shared with you that the price is going to go up $400 at the end of this next, at the end of this week. Um, that is not a scarcity thing. That's like a reality thing. The price is going to keep going up until it gets to $4,000, which is still a very great value of the actual mastermind event. So here are your options for your payment plans. Option one is a $2,000 pay in full, which that ultimately ends up being a cheaper price point and the best price value for you to get in at the event. However, if you need to make that into payments, you can break that up into four payments of $675 between now and the event. So what I want you guys to know here is what you would do next. If you want to have one of the 12 spots, let me grab the URL real quickly here and drop it into the chat. Bear with me half a second here. Got that? Um, dropping it, get the chat box. Here is the application. I just dropped it into the chat box. So while we're talking, you guys can all go and look at that. What you would do next, if you want a spot for this mastermind, I want you to go and complete that application. I want you to do that today if you are interested and you want to do that. And here is why, because I feel that we are going to get more than 12 people that want to come to this event. And when you complete your application, that is not me processing your credit card. That's you just raising your hand and saying, I would like a spot. And if I were to get 20 people today or between today and tomorrow or between today and Friday, 20, 30, 50 people, the people that are going to get my first priority are going to be the people that filled out and completed their application first. Okay. So please complete your application. If this is something that you want to do. I also want to require that you need to be available for a phone call. Now here's the deal. The application, if you guys go look at it, it's simply like your name, your business, why do you wanna come? Do you understand this is happening in January? Like it's not rocket science application, but if you were to by chance put something on there or I had a question, I wanna be able to call and talk to you and answer and just speak to you face, voice to voice, right? So you do have to be available for a call. If you are international and you live farther away, we can totally still have that call through Zoom or through Facebook. So no stress, you just need to make yourself to be available. So again, the application link is simply sweetteasocialmarketing.com forward slash mastermind. And you would go click on that link that you see right there in the chat box, head on over, go and take a few moments to get that complete. And I get a notification the moment that you have that application complete. So that's pretty much kind of like the, the specifics on the what you would do. And again, just to remind you, you'll obviously need to be available January 26th to the 29th of 2020. And I wanna make myself available right now to answer any questions. So if you are new to um, Zoom, Right next to your name, there is an ability for you to click a little button that says raise hand. So you could actually go ahead and click that button and raise your hand and I can see who would like to ask their question here on the actual video. Um, if you wanna ask a question, but you prefer to put it in the chat box, 
you can do that and I will read a question out loud and I will answer it for everybody to hear. So I do want to just take a minute. Um, if you're typing out your question or you're brainstorming or thinking, you've got about two minutes here before I wrap up. But what I am going to do is just turn this back to the slide where that link is. So it's sweetteasocialmarketing.com forward slash mastermind. I am going to be dropping this application link to everybody that signed up for the replay. And then we'll be opening this up to everybody else on my email list. So if you are on the fence, then I still suggest you complete this and you fill out some information on that application, letting me know kind of where you are. Um, for many of you guys, I realized that this could be new. This could be new, this idea of going somewhere in a space with other people. And the cool thing about it, guys, is, is I want you to know it's not just going to be me teaching you because I want you to know I'm not here just hypothetically going, you know, I'm going to coach you along. And if you don't come up with the answers, well, you're just going to be out of luck. Well, no, that's not how it's going to work. Like this is how effective social media is run. This is what a great content calendar would look like. You're going to show up with your zone of genius about what you do well. And then with that plan that I'm going to show, share with you, you are going to be able to walk away with what January, February, well, January is when the event's happening. You're going to still get a 12-month calendar. It's going to just go through January of 2021. And you're going to walk away with what that plan looks like, specifically for your business. Not a generic template for your business. And you are also going to be able to know exactly how you can take a piece of content that you are going to create, whether that's a video whether that's a blog post, and I'm going to teach you and walk you through exactly how you can execute and repurpose that content for your social media. I just wanna um, take a minute real quickly. It doesn't look like we have any questions. Um, does anyone have anything here in the comments right now that you just would like to share? Did this maybe let you know a little bit more about the mastermind. Did this clear up for anybody, whether you think that this might or might not be a good fit for you? Um, feel free to drop that into the chat box if you would like. But I just wanna say thank you so much for all of you for coming. I appreciate your time. If you guys are, like I said, gonna watch this later or you are watching this on the replay, I just wanna say thank you so much. Pray over this, think about this, see if this feels like it's a good fit for you. And I would love, to have you at our 2020 January Mastermind event. It's going to be like no other. I am so excited to really see who God is going to hand pick to be able to come and be here for this unique, awesome, awesome time and experience. So uh, Joel, thank you so much. Thank you each and every one of you, Angie, Aaron, Jody, Joel, Kimberly, Patty, Allison, all of you guys that are watching this. Thanks so much for being here. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, you guys. See you later. Bye.